privately owned network, some openly measurement, and these are clearly manipulatable. Okay, but the difference in within Science 2.0 from Science 2.0 is that there will be a vivid discussion about this manipulation, the limits of impact factors, and the benefits of certain impact factors which is in contrast to the monolithic system that exists at the moment where there is basically no discussion and no alternative and I don't want to talk about manipulations of current impact factor systems okay? we don't open up this topic now okay? <laughs> well, even though it was one of the main reasons why we are sitting here and why the whole issue is coming up but yeah, we discuss about the future and in the future there will be a vivid discussion <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> about this and the limitations and we have we can we can improve impact factors, we can compare them and we can use different measures. Okay. I think manipulation is something where of course you have to try to fight against it. But on the other on the other side you need the help again from the community and this is what Zunke at the end is saying. Uh, you need the help of the community to filter again these different um, these different results, these different impact factors, etc. So um, you you have at least a chance to say something about the publication. Say, well, that that must this doesn't make sense. You know, it's like, hey, why does it have so many views? It looks strange. Um, and um, yeah, you know, manipulating by having different IPs, etc. Of course. You know, they hacked Visa and Mastercard after Julian Assange was, uh, you know, was caught in, in, in England. So, yes, there are ways doing it, and it's dangerous. But I think uh, if it's transparent, if it's open, and everyone can add his comment, uh, can add his comment to that, I think that is a way to help in general to to have the manipulation on a low level. It, okay, I, I, okay. Okay, so okay, you, I just want to just make something clear that I don't want to throw mud at the established system at the moment, which is very good and which brought us very far. And the publishers did a great job, and Thomson Reuters did a great job, but we have now the technology at once, society at once, and we have new situations and we have new players and new chances and new dangers. And we all have to work together to bring them to a useful use for society and science and not only for very few stakeholders. That might happen at some point, okay? But the publishers doing good jobs changing this. Companies like Research Day are doing a good job bringing up opportunities, chances, some fail, some win, and this is a vivid culture that will shape the future of science, which is a very important thing. the gatekeeper you're still running into into problems right like the stem cell reproduction in Korea which after several weeks was clear that it was a was fake um, I think still it's the same thing and also I don't know how many publications um, right now in the real world in this old system are really like that as the people say it is like this I think there are many cases on a level which are not as public because they were not as you know, tremendous of change when you, you know when you say I have um, you know I, I, I cloned this in the stem cell and work it's working X and Y and all the media think oh cool I have to talk about it and then the pressure is getting higher and then people finding maybe the, the, the mistakes or the fakes within these papers but right now um, I think there are tons of papers and uh, you know copies you know plagiates where people don't talk about it because it's not as 
important as maybe other findings for now, uh, but after years people will find it. I think it's just a problem. I think the new way will be even will help to find these targets faster because people are talking about it. So people can say, hey, this one, we had this once in, um, in ResearchGate, we had someone who said, this publication from this and this is a copy of my master thesis from this and this year, and it's identical in this and this sections. And then, you know, okay, it's not our task to check all these different things, but we, we mark this publication and said, you know, it's very similar to that, and this was published before this, and it was not quoted or was not cited correctly. And I think these, yeah, these are the chances. I also think that it's not by mere coincidence that uh, Gutenplag, for instance, or for Koch Marina, whoever it was, uh, there was actually something that was going on on, on the social media scale. Yeah. There was bloggers in the end who uncovered it. Um, um, yeah. So this is uh, a trend that we're seeing here. Sorry, just shortly coming back to this uh, manipulation point, because you said at the beginning that there were these four branches of science uh, 2.0, and one was like the online profile uh, of the author and this be a step or a way of um, preventing manipulation because if anybody within the scientific community has got like this, um, this online profile which is uh, authentic, uh, would this be a way just to stop like I don't like this content or like companies who just produce clicks or views or likes which is still uh, like running for YouTube, I don't know if you just produce yeah. views. Yeah, I, I mean, this could be a mean of doing it, and I, by purpose, I didn't talk about technical solutions. And all technical solutions, you could come up with an idea of signing in, of providing a tool to sign in into platforms, it is an PHP, whatever, a pretty good privacy-based system, and there's uh, open source and everything, and that will work, and it could be used, but this could be manipulated in different ways again. So all technical solutions have faults and advantages and disadvantages, and there are solutions out, so these things were not new. There are solutions that, like ORCID for the researcher identifier, online profiles and there are some researcher ID by Thomson Reuters for example I guess and they have all advantages and disadvantages and by purpose I put myself above talking about the technical solution which is kind of arrogant but I enjoy this position <laughs> okay Mr. Can you give us a little insight uh, of uh, what was happening in the uh, research case, what the uh, topic are most discussed, and what features are most used? Um, again, the most features which are used are um, discussions in groups and publication search. Um, I cannot give you the topics part. I I cannot give you data about it because I don't know it. Uh, we haven't analyzed it. It's pretty hard to analyze. Um, we're building right now, and this is where we're focusing on right now, 100% is building a new discussion product. I cannot talk about it that much, but it's a new way of discussing, you know, taking the discussions out of the groups and building a product only around discussions. Um, and this will somehow including topics, yeah. Um, and then after that, I can tell you then, because then it's easier to measure, uh, because then the, t um, the keywords which are used to tag the different discussions can be analyzed, and then we can, you know, then I could tell you what what are the. This is reported. We have a very sophisticated reporting system, so users can report um, uh, bad links um, or discussions which are, you know, which are spam. Um, so they can report this to us, and then we um, we look at it. But also, this is something what we want to give back to the community very soon. But we started in the beginning because you have to need somehow quality control. But it's of course, you know, if I do this on my computer and say, I said now something what I have to delete or not, it, it's not the right way. You have to get this, you know, this power back to the community and you have to have, you have, to have curators or administrators in the community who decide at the end, is this something what I want to have in this topic in this group or do I, I don't want to have that? So, yeah. 
but even the administrators sometimes, we have already administrated uh, in groups because every group needs at least one administrator, they come very often to us and ask us if we can help or if we can help in deciding if this is something where it should be in the group or it shouldn't be. It's sometimes very hard to tell. So we don't have uh, uh, editors? Yeah. Um, administrators. <coughs> because, yeah, we have. Uh, yes, we have. What would you say, Lou? Um, what are the main topics on Nature Network at, at the moment? Are there topics that are trendy? Yeah, so um, we have blogs. Um, blogs, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, so we have blogs, and a lot of those are focused on life science topics, um, as you, you generally expect. Um, we also do have um, discussion groups and forums, and these are actually um, span wider topics. So we can have things like women in science, where um, there's a focus on um, discussing um, information, sharing articles and things that, that concern being a female academic, as well as things like science policy in the UK, where we get updates on, on various policy issues that, that are of concern to people. Um, we also find that um, particular um, users in different locations have different preferences for um, sort of interacting online and the Nature India forum is actually our most active forum at the moment on Nature Network. They're um, very vocal and very keen to engage online. Nature India, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a German hub now as well, as far as I've heard. A German? No, there's a lot. So um, we did have um, someone a couple of years ago blogging from Berlin, I believe, but there isn't actually a dedicated hub for Germany. If anybody was interested in start or then they're welcome to it. Maybe that will change today. <laughs> yeah. Um, as, as, we've, as we've discussed earlier, maybe um, that, that was the thesis that technology is already further. That technology is already ahead of um, structural changes or changes in the system, in the funding bodies, in the in the evaluation scheme. Um, what would you say from your international perspective, um, with your national and international hubs? Um, is that the case? Is that a discussion that also takes place within the network itself um, as to how relevant is the network for citation, for publishing, for evaluation? Yeah, so I think there's a number of things um, going on here. There's, um, one of the things that I've noticed from, say, giving talks, visiting, talking to people in different locations is that um, different nationalities, people in different areas, choose how they want to adopt technology. So people do things that fit in with their current workflows and that fit in with their kind of accepted social norms. So, um, for example, I spoke to a group of German bloggers earlier this year and they're much more reticent about the idea of using Facebook to promote their own personal blogs than, say, US bloggers that I know about. So, um, US bloggers are, you know, perfect. Uh, comfortable with putting all their blogging activities on Facebook, sharing it with all of their different groups of friends and using it very much as a, an extra promotional channel. Whereas I know in Germany there are definitely more concerns about um, privacy issues with Facebook and just how much data people were prepared to share. And I think also um, we see issues around personal profiles. So um, there have been debates about whether or not you as an individual should have one unified persona online or whether you fragment off and you have a personal persona, so for example you keep Facebook in time private, that's your private holiday photos and you only share them with your friends, and you also have a work persona so that might be on one of the, the science based social networking sites, it might be on something like LinkedIn and whether or not people use um, sort of tricks to differentiate between those. So do you have a particular profile picture, an avatar, that you associate solely with all of your working life online, and then anything else that's your private life, you use a completely different avatar so that you're distancing yourself from that. Um, I think there's obviously also an issue then, um, back coming to the whole old metrics uh, question, and that's something that comes up at the various uh, science communication conferences um, that I attend, and, and it's something that, um, you know, it's, it's becoming ever more pressing an issue and, and something that we are going to need to work out solutions for in the future. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Further questions? There's one here. 